Harry Potter is known for its beautiful message of friendship, equality and love, but the series is also known for being the host of some of the most savage moments in history. Although the films focus more on Harry's journey, the books heavily focus on the day-to-day -day life at Hogwarts and this day-to-day -day life is filled to the brim with savage moments. Many of the characters in the series have their own fair share of harsh burns. And so in today's video, I will be going over nine times that Harry Potter characters were completely savage. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoy and subscribe to the channel and let us know you subscribed as you could get a shout out at the end of the month. Number one, there's no need to call me sir, professor. There is a moment when Harry is receiving a private tutoring lesson from Snape, but Snape cannot let go of his childhood memories and so he takes it all out on Harry. During the moment, Snape is trying to tutor Harry but ends up lashing out and taking years years upon years of his pain out on the poor kid. However though, at this point Harry is a teenager and so he doesn't take lightly to the way that Snape is talking to him and he catches on and this is where he is completely savage. Harry quickly snaps back and delivers one of the best burns in the Harry Potter history. Good. Number two, I want you to picture Snape in your grandmother's clothing. We all know that Snape was bullied by James and his friends when he was a child. And so when he found out that Remus, who was one of James's friends, was going to be working in the same place as him, he did everything he could to get him fired. And so when Remus found out that the man who was tormenting him was Neville's biggest fear, he takes justice into his own hands and tells Neville to imagine Snape in his grandmother's clothing, which of course, made Snape look very silly and everybody had a great little laugh which makes Remus feel good. Number 3, twitchy little ferret, aren't you? One of the best moments in the entire series has to be when Professor Moody, who is technically Barty Crouch Jr. at this point but we didn't actually know, turns Malfoy into a ferret in front of his friends. In the film, the moment is over quite quickly but within the books, the moment keeps going and going and going and his classmates never forget about it. When the Golden Trio run into Malfoy, they unleash one of the worst burns ever to remind him that he won was a ferret. I guess you could say this is how to get back at your schoolyard bullies. <laughs> Okay. Number four, just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon, we all know that Ron is a very simple man and this shows in the moment where Harry had his first kiss with Cho Chang and he goes back to the Gryffindor common room to share the special moment with his two best friends. Ron assumes that her tears are related to the events of the story but Hermione sees beneath the events and understands all the inner conflicts that are playing in Cho. Ron lays all his cards out on the table and Hermione calls him out with one of the best burns ever. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Number five, why don't you just run along and play with your chemistry set? We know that Snape calls himself the Half-Blood Prince, which means that one of his parents was a muggle, his father. It is an ongoing thing in the Harry Potter world that muggles are looked down upon by those who are pure blood, as well as those who join the Death Eaters, just like Snape did after Lily rejected him. Snape is the potions teacher at Hogwarts, and the muggle equivalent to potions is obviously chemistry, and therefore, Sirius's comment, why don't you you go and play with your chemistry set is ignoring the fact that Snape has magical heritage and is implying that he is nothing more than a muggle. You run along and play with your chemistry set. Number six, I'm sorry professor but I must not tell lies. When Professor Umbridge was introduced into the series there wasn't many people who liked her and for good reason as well but when watching Harry clap back with her own words that she forced him to carve into his own flesh it is just beautiful and everybody should witness it. Just watching the expression on her face as she realised that Harry used her own words against her made the moment that much more enjoyable. Harry's and Hermione's faces remain as hard as steel as they watch Umbridge get dragged away and for this I have endless respect for them. I'm sorry, Professor. 
I must not tell lies. Number seven, you'll never know love and friendship and I feel sorry for you. When Voldemort is possessing Harry, we get an intense savage moment that is probably my favourite one on this whole list. Harry is reminding Tom that he is an orphan who was the product of a love spell and so these circumstances left him to never been able to experience or understand love. However, even though Harry was brought up with a similar upbringing, he was able to open his heart to love and friendship and he's rubbing that right into Tom's face. Oh, friendship, and I feel sorry for you. Number 8. Clearly Hermione knows it, seems a pity not to ask her. Now this burn comes from a deleted scene from the first film, but I'm still adding it into the list because it deserves a spot. Harry claps back at Snape for humiliating him on his first day at school. I mean seriously, what kind of man mocks a child by asking him a question that he clearly doesn't know the answer to? There's literally only one other person apart from Snape in the room that can answer the question and that is Hermione. And we see her waving her arm about trying to grab the attention of Snape so that she can answer the question and show just how smart she is. But we see Snape ignoring her and continuing to grill Harry. Harry's savage moment definitely makes up for it though. Clearly Hermione knows. Seems a pity not to ask her. Number 9. I think I can tell the wrong sort for myself, thanks. In the first instalment of the series, Malfoy was being a complete snot towards Ron, so Harry saw right through him. And this is the moment where one of the best friendships starts. Harry was definitely right when he said, I think I can tell the wrong sort for myself, and it was perfectly executed, and I'm sure Malfoy felt quite embarrassed. I think I can tell the wrong sort for myself, thanks. Well, there we have it. Nine moments where characters from Harry Potter were completely savage. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.